Nowadays, AI systems produce transcendental arts, including paintings and music compositions. Herein, MIT AI and Deep Learning professor Lex Friedman raises an issue about copyrights of AI-generated arts. He questioned that who will own the copyright of an image generated by neural networks. Owner of the dataset that neural networks was trained on, the designer of the network architecture, the person running the code, or AI system itself. You might watch the Love in Vincent movie. 125 artists come together and painted 65,000 Van Gogh style oil paintings on canvas in a manual way to produce this movie. At this point, AI systems are as talented as these artists. A deep learning technique called artistic style transfer empowers us to produce that kind of paintings too. Style transfer enables to transfer the styles of famous artists and famous portraits to ordinary images. Consider the Starry Night portrait. It's one of the most famous work of Vincent van Gogh. You can transform this building photo to the style of Vincent van Gogh. This approach can also be applied to the videos because a video consists of almost 24 images per second. Let's turn back to the question of Lex Friedman. Who will own the copyright of this art? Neural Networks is trained with this original video. Should the owner of the original video also be the copyright owner of this new art? This new art might be based on this video, but it's totally different. Copyright match tools cannot find a similarity between the original video and style transfer one. Secondly, should the designer of the network architecture be the copyright owner? Artistic style transfer is run on a VGG model in the original paper. The model is designed by Visual Geometry Group of Oxford University. Of camera brands have no copyright of taken photographs, both designer of the VGG model and authors of the original paper shouldn't have the copyright. Thirdly, AI system itself couldn't have the copyright if Sofia wouldn't draw the painting because Sofia is the only AI system having a citizenship for today. So it seems that the person running the code should have the copyright. 